Now that's all fine and good, but you might be asking, well, that's great, but what if you had a belt and a hat and pants or something on and we wanna move those all at once? So let's go ahead and grab another example here that we were using last time. So now this particular one, if I go in here, let's go out of solo mode. So this one, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pose. One thing I will bring, in my, uh, bring to mind though is that if I'm gonna be posing something out, remember that, especially with Z-spheres, anything that's hard bound like rigid bound i should say or the shell itself isn't i don't want it to bend it's a shell right so i can just move that independently later i don't need to bring it in with my z-sphere rig so what i'm going to do is hold down shift use this bent arrow and then shoot it all the way down to the bottom alt tap this one uh, shift shoot it down to the bottom alt tap this one shift shoot it down to the bottom i'm going to turn off all three of those eyeballs and then alt tap the body here so that I don't bring that into what we're going to go into next, which is Z plugin transpose master. So what transpose master will do, will bring in all of our low res objects. So if you have any subdivision history, uh, so all of these uh, subtools actually do have subdivision history. So if I go in here and I say subtool all low, that will give you a preview of what it's going to look like inside of transpose master. Cause what's, what it's going to do is drop it down to SD one subdivision level one, uh, and then put put everything into one object or one tool and then allow you to transpose that mesh. And of course you can use Z-spheres with that. But let's say we didn't have that because we're talking about proxy pose. So for the body, I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm at subdivision level four, I'm gonna say delete lower. Let's pretend this is just a two million polygon dynamesh, right? Oops, uh, but I still wanna pose them. I've got all of these ones which have subdivision history. I just don't wanna do subdivision history for everything, right? Well, I'm gonna alt tap the body, doesn't have subdivision history. Here's the little thing too. If you want it, if you accidentally deleted subdivision history, you can hit reconstruct and it'll reconstruct it back. It's not what I'm doing here. We're pretending that this is a Dynamesh, right? So no subdivision history. Well, all we gotta do now is go in here to proxy pose, hit it, and now we can mix and match if we have, I'm gonna go in here and say, all high. You know, if you have some subtools that are have subdivision history and or some that don't, doesn't matter. You all you got to do for the ones that don't, just hit proxy pose. That'll dump it down to something much more manageable instead of sending two million polygons over to Transpose Master. Which number one, it's going to be like we talked about in the last video. It's going to be really difficult to pose with masking just because masking is going to be tough and it's going to be nearly impossible to pose 2 million polygons with a transpose mesh with a z-sphere rig because z-sphere rigs have influences and as you're moving those influences they'll end up with really sharp transitions and it's going to move really slowly because it's a lot of processing power in order to do that so if you want to pose with transpose master and you want to use a z-sphere rig it's very good practice just to go in here and hit proxy pose if you don't have subdivision history or have subdivision history for your um, subtools we'll go into how to create subdivision history in the next video uh, but just for now proxy pose is where it's at um, and also anything you don't want to bring along like i'm even going to say you know this one hold down shift shoot it to the bottom turn it off and the reason i'm shooting it to the bottom so alt tap this one shift shoot at the bottom turn off the eyeball and alt tap the body again the reason I'm shooting them to the bottom is just so I know where they are. Um, you don't really need to do that. But so now this is what I want to send over. And remember, this is just a temporary low res, but that's fine. So if I go over here now and say transpose mess with Z-Sphere rig, that'll put everything into one tool with a Z-Sphere sitting there for you to make a skeleton. However, I do want to bring attention to this store and paste rig. So if you have like a Ninja Turtle rig, let's go ahead and make one. I'm gonna say append a Z-Sphere. Instead of going into Transpose Master and making a Z-Sphere every time you wanna go and pose this guy out, you know, if you're doing all four of them, what you can do is just make a, make a skeleton that you can bring, you can copy paste in there whenever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make one real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and shut up uh, since we already know how to do this. And then we're just gonna fast forward through this. All right, so I think this is close enough. Again, we just have a Z-sphere chain sitting out here. Again, if you want to, you can go in here to stroke, uh, scale Z-spheres to draw size. That'll make them all uniform. I didn't bother going, even though he only he has the same number of fingers as the Rancor does. Um, but, you know, just to stop at the wrist, just in case you wanted to do that. So now, instead of having to recreate that every time I go into Transpose Master, I have a Z-sphere rig just sitting out here, a skeleton. You can just go ahead and rename this too if you want. Um, There we go. So now all we got to do is we're going to say uh, store this rig and then we're going to go ahead and turn it off. And then all these other ones are off and they're down at the bottom so I know where they are. And I'm going to go in here and turn off, turn on this guy's head. I, I don't need this 
little star that I use as my name catcher. So we're gonna send over, everything that's visible is gonna go over, and we've copied this uh, rig in memory. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna say transpose mesh with a Z-sphere rig, because we're gonna use one, right? So I'm gonna say T-pose mesh, that's gonna go through all of my subtools and go to the lowest and put it over here. If it doesn't have a lowest, it just has a proxy pose, it'll put that in there too. We have a big Z-sphere sitting in here. All we gotta do is say paste our rig, that'll replace the Z-sphere with our Z-sphere rig, and then we're ready to go in here and start posing. So of course, we gotta go down here and say rigging, uh, bind our mesh, and then just like with the Rancor, go through here and do whatever you want. So let's say um, he's getting he's getting hit. So we're gonna go through here and we're gonna just kinda kinda bend him back a little bit and maybe uh, and we'll go ahead and put his head to the right here. So he got he got hit. And so since we didn't carry the wrist all the way through to the fingers or anything, um, you can't really do much, but you can go in here. Anything past this, you can go through here and you can kind of rotate down the joint. What you can do is after you're done posing, we're going to go back to our subtools. You can go back in here and do your masking and transpose or mask um, gizmo and move the fingers independently. So again, just a few different options. If you don't feel like doing all the fingers, you can just do them later. And of course we have our helper joints. I put some towards the forward of the rib cage just so I could go in here and, you know, get rid of any stretching that we might be getting for his little uh, shell here that might be happening. Um, of course, we might want to put more helper joints over here in the lats, but I'll leave that up to you. Again, we're just we're, we're just doing this really quickly, so feel free to kind of go in and fine tune um, what you would need for your uh, individual rig needs. So we're going to go through here, and again, we're just kind of go through and rotate this around, and I don't know, just do a basic pose here. So we've got our basic pose. Uh, we're using a Z sphere rig. It's influencing our mesh here. So if we're ready to go back, what we need to do is go from transpose mesh is what we're doing. Over here, we're gonna say our transpose mesh back to our subtools. Every single one of these is gonna go back to its original subtool and then update the low res version and then it'll have either subdivision history or update your proxy pose. Uh, of course, we wanna see this. We can go in here to depth skin and density down to one, dynamesh resolution down to zero, hit A to preview and you can get a little preview of it. But we can also go in here to groups. Uh, this is if you wanted to preserve your existing polygroups. This is really the more interesting one. This will, if you want to, when it's sending your mesh back over, you can say, hey, keep any changes to the vertex positions, which is what we're doing. We're changing the vertex positions and putting them back on our original tools. You can say, put that in a layer. So you can go in there and you can turn off with an eyeball in your layers if you want to snap back to the original pose and then go to this new pose you have, you can just put it in a layer. I'm not gonna bother doing that. I just want you to know that it's available to you. So we've moved all the verts in this thing. So we're gonna go to T, transpose to sub T. That's gonna go back and move all of our, our vertex positions, ah, gross, to where they've moved. There we go, the tongue and the teeth follow. And then everything that was invisible is just kind of sitting down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna turn on like say for example, uh, the turtle shell. I'm gonna hit W and we're gonna say move multiple. I'm gonna control shift drag just to actually with control shift tap. And then I'm gonna hold down control shift and then just tap again with move multiple. And we're gonna unhash all the turtle shell parts. So now I can go through here and just move the turtle shell into place. Again, I don't want a Z sphere rig, you know, pose it and have it be all, you know, kind of influenced and stretchy, right? I just want it to be a hard tortoise shell. So we can just go and move that into place. And then what we can also do, uh, same thing for this. If I want to move his uh, little tassel back there, I can hit uh, W, move multiple, control shift drag to unhash everything, control shift tap this. Uh, let me see, control shift tap this one. And, oh, I didn't have it turned on. Uh, go ahead and turn that on. There it is. So we'll go ahead and turn his body back on. Sorry about that. So. I've got move multiple turned on and I have unhashed these. So now I can go through here and I can just move this tassel back. I'm gonna move this, hold down alt and we'll rotate this back. So there we go. Now, you know, it's a lot more convincing and I didn't have to go through there and like rig these tassels or anything. I can literally just go in there and place them. And now it's just, it's easy enough, right? So now that we've done all of this, we want our original high res back for our proxy pose, right? Well, all we gotta do is go in here and say, turn off proxy pose. Now our Z-Sphere transpose master rig has updated our proxy pose. This proxy pose will go back to our original high res. And there we go. We got our knocked out uh, Ninja Turtle 
posed, again, using proxy pose, using transpose master, using Z-Sphere rigs, moving multiple sub tools around, a little bit easier than going and masking and transposing.